I'm Ray with Refresh Class. We're back here at the Max 6 Conscious Capitalism Incubator where we do our Willy Wonka glass style magic on our bottles um, in our 10 million bottle rescue mission that we hope you're a part of. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build these fun brackets you can hang on your wall to hang fun stuff that I'm sure you have. So I'm going to go over the materials first. What we have here is one bottle top. We have a cork inserted into it and I'll show you more about that in a second. We have this piece of all thread with two washers, two nuts, quarter 20, foot long. We have a few screws and we'll detail all this out for you later exactly how many and what size. And then we have these jaw tooth hangers that we're going to be hanging them up with. So next let's just briefly go over the tools you need. We have our trusty yo-yo, right? Also known as a tape measure. We have a nut driver or you could use a ratchet or a, a wrench you know, for the, the quarter 20 bolts. We have our trusty drill with a Phillips bit in it. Hammer. If you don't want to have one of these, you shouldn't be building anything. <laughs> and the two cool tools of the day, which I'm looking forward to show you, but I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. The first thing that we're going to want to do is, let me push this out of here real quick. Ooh, where'd that go? Nice. Is to measure the top. So take our yo-yo. We can see this one is seven and a half inches. So when we cut these pieces of wood, this is the fun part. This one has to be seven and a half inches. This is going to be the vertical piece going right here. These two could be whatever length you want, depending on what it is that you want to hang. And depending on the length, you might want to do more than one of these jaw tooth hangers to hold it up and the weight load. The next thing we're going to do after we measure that and cut our pieces of wood, uh, just by the way, a lot of hardware stores will cut two by fours for you if you ask them to, to specified lengths, is to drill a hole right here in the cork. Um, I recommend that you use a drill press like we have back here if you have one. Or you can place the cork into the glass and very, very carefully, cork is so soft. Slowly, slowly use your drill. I recommend 3 8 drill bit through here. And I usually leave a little bit of cork for compression, and I'll show you more about that in a second. The next thing you're going to want to do is to mark your pieces of wood for where you want to drill. So this is where we get into our cool tool. This is calipers, right? So I measured 750 thou, which is nerd speak for 3 quarters of an inch, right, on this side and here. And so the way that you use these to help speed the process, and it's actually much more precise and accurate, is to run this along the edge, make a scratch line right here, run this along the edge right here, and right here, and it'll form crosshairs for you. Then what you can do is you take this cool tool, which is a center punch that has, it's spring-loaded. Then right where the crosshairs are, you press it down, it'll click, form an indentation, where you can then take your drill or drill press and drill a hole straight through. We'll detail for you what size uh, the drill bit is also. Then we're going to go to the other side here, measure 1.75, 1 inches and 3 quarter inches. From this distance, measure how wide your 2 by 4 is, because they're usually not 2 by 4. <laughs> center that in half. Use your center punch again. Make an indentation and drill your hole. This one, I really recommend using the drill press, because the more perpendicular it is, straight up and down, right? The easier it is to line up the all threads once you get the two sides. So hopefully now we have our holes drilled, two on one end, one on the other for both of these sides, right? The same, the same measurements. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to mark our vertical piece. The way I recommend doing that is to work the screws through for one of these. So they're sticking out, I don't know, maybe about a quarter inch, maybe a little less, maybe an eighth. Right, then center them here on your vertical piece so that everything's all flush the way you like it. Take your hammer, carefully tap down a few times on it, and this will perform a function similar to the center punch, right, where it'll make indentations in this piece of wood. Then you could take your drill with the drill bit in it, pop the holes in it to leave the room so that the screws move in smoothly fun, right? Making holes and stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to situate the top half onto these two pieces. So we're going to take our two horizontal pieces, right? 
and we're going to take the nut and the washer off of one end and leave a little bit on the other. Work it through, take the top half, work it through here, and now it goes this way. <laughs> We're going to put it like this, right? Then I'm going to lay it on its side, take our washer and our nut, and work this on, but I'm not going to put it down all the way. I want to have a little bit of room to work with right here. So now, um, on this side, I'm going to work my other screws through. And again, I'm going to leave a little bit sticking out so that it finds the holes. You can kind of feel when it goes in. Spin this around. Do this side. Then we're going to take our nut driver. You could also use a ratchet, crescent wrench. Um, whatever you got. We're going to hand tighten this. We're going to make sure that this side is flush on here, right? So it's sitting down flat. And then we're going to wait till it's seated. You could feel it. And then I recommend going about a half turn like that. So it's tight. You don't want to put too much pressure on the glass. It's, it's not going to come off. Then the last part here, I use these three quarter inch small pieces of square to offset it from the wall. So it kind of looks like it's floating, which I thought was kind of neat like this. Um, and then you take your, your what do they call them again? <laughs> Saw tooth hangers. And then you just hammer them on. Put your nail in the wall, hang them up, and you're good to go. Hope you guys all have a great day. We'll see you soon.